Steve, good to meet you. So relatively new sculptor um, and basically just kind of wondering if you have any tips or resources or tricks that you know now that if you had known when you first started out would have uh, been helpful or places to look. Well, nowadays it's so so much easier than when I was learning. Because when I was learning, I basically was self-taught. And then I had to find resources like going physically to a library to find books. Sometimes if we're lucky at 2 a.m., they'll show a making of King Kong or something, you know, that you have to stay up and, and catch. Um, so the one thing that's a great resource, obviously, Stan Winston School, you know, it has a lot of great information and, and a lot of great tutorials. Um, I have found that at least, I mean, there's so much stuff, but maybe I'll just cover one thing uh, that I learned over the years is that for sculpting, let's say, you know, there's different aspects of sculpture. Like, you know, uh, the, the, the most important part of sculpting is your expression, your, your artistic style and being able to convey what you see in your head. Uh, and that requires a certain amount of exploration in, in, in your sculpting process. But that part aside, what I find that I wish I had known much younger than, than when I knew, you know, I learned this on my own, unfortunately, um, is that sculpture is also very technical and it's it's a process and it's also, it can be broken down by numbers. You know, like, like for instance, I see people will, will sculpt and they get lost in a sculpture and they, uh, if you just follow the basic steps of, of block out, primary forms, secondary forms, tertiary forms, if you just follow that sort of a style religiously and just go one step at a time, very mechanically, uh, while you're infusing your creativity, you can actually get from A to Z a lot faster. And having been in the business where a lot of times, you know, I'm, I, I get asked, oh, we need this thing really fast. Can you sculpt this in a day? You know, that's where this kind of, that kind of discipline really comes in handy when you can say, okay, I'm going to block it out. I'm just going to do this part. Now I'm going to do this part. And I'm going to do this part. And you don't get lost. Like I, um, like for instance, by lost, I mean, I, I knew a friend years ago who, would sculpt a mask, and what he would what he would do is he would put on a head cast just clay around this part of the face, and work on the brows, work on the cheekbone, and then before he puts any other clay around anything, he just starts to to detail. And I'm thinking like, what are you doing? You don't even know what this whole thing's gonna look like yet, and already you're like finishing a whole section. So by the time he does this whole thing, this thing just looks really kind of bad. Like it just doesn't flow. The forms conflict. The balance is, is really off. So, so if you can get into the mindset of, that everything's very technical, it's just A, B, C, D. You know, basic form, primary form, secondary form, tertiary. You get just go step by step like that. Working on it that way, uh, you'll you'll come out with a very um, straight workflow to get from A to Z. So that that's my advice, and you know, for anybody trying to learn how to sculpt. 